We're just going to leave that in the middle. See what happens. Can you see him? He's trying to be sneaky. He's trying. They can see you. Hello and welcome back to the Plies and Hellhounds channel. We are a crafty puppy interrupted channel coming to you from Central Connecticut. I'm your human host Gabby. You can find me everywhere online as Gabby Gales and all my hand-eyed yarn at Plies and Hellhounds and PliesandHellhounds.com. I have dubbed this month so member, so November, so so member, so member, so member. I don't know. I just want to sew things. I still I don't know what's I don't know what's going on in my brain all I want to do is make videos about sewing things but I I keep trying to do it all in one day so we're doing it again today I tried it last week and it didn't work so why not try again this week I am starting <laughs> about the same time maybe a little earlier I don't remember to be quite honest but today we are sewing the Modern Fantail Skirt by Screw Patterns. I have one in this beautiful tartan that I wear to death. I'm so sorry if you can hear iron just rolling around in the background. I've tried to make one out of this black fabric, like cryptochine kind of thing that I have a whole bolt of and it just didn't fit and then I got makeup on it and it just wasn't working. So I took it apart and I took all the hardware off and now <laughs> I have this like suiting it's kind of stretchy material i don't know how much it is it's pretty stretchy now that i'm stretching it it's got to be like a knit of some kind now that i'm stretching it i'm reconsidering all of my choices but i feel like it's got some heft to it like it's just a regular plastic hanger but you see how much this is like going it's she's got some weight to it which is i think what that dress needs like the tartan fabric is a woven fabric that is pretty thick. Like, I think that would be a suiting. I don't know. The tartan fabric I found in my grandmother's basement when we were cleaning it out. This was sent to me by a friend when she was doing a D stash and I've been holding on to it. I think there's enough of it that I could like do a skirt and maybe like some shorts or something. Like, I think these would be, oh, I'm sorry. Some super cute, like high-waisted shorts. I'm just reconsidering everything after the fiasco that was last week, but last week was also a very hard week. This week has not been much easier, but I have more energy. I've been lizarding in the sun some more, so hopefully that helps. But yeah, that's my plan. I'm not very confident in it, but we're going to go for it. We're going to try. We are going to try. Yeah, this is like, it's too heavy to be like a knit skin tight thing right I really want to sew stuff but I just I don't know I just keep not being able to and I'm just trying to get that sewing confidence back so I figured doing something that I know has worked before maybe will like bring that confidence back you can't get offended if the plant touches you so that's the plan today it is about noon I have my second cup of cauldron coffee. I'm dripping coffee everywhere. And I have finished, before we get into the sewing, I have finished my fall frolic. And I love her, and I'm going to live in her forever. This is a the newest design by Samantha Gear Designs. She designed it out of my hand-dyed yarn in the colors ephemera and oh my god, it's happening. And I knit it out of Nightmares Plus 10 and deny this. And oh boy, am I am I addicted to it. This is it. This is it. Just please ignore it. The cat's nail got stuck on this one stitch and it did not block out. So just don't, just don't look, don't look at that bit. Also don't look at my nails. My nail tech was out of town all week. I have not been able to get them done. My nail tech is Jake. Jake does my nails. He does my nails once a week because he's a gem among gems. I don't know where I was going with this. Okay, yeah, let's... <laughs> I was a lot more confident this morning that this was going to work. So yeah, let's go sew a skirt, hopefully.
hello. I'm not hugging my microphone because it's Saturday morning and I have to start dying. But she's done. Um, the lighting's a little bit better, but I don't have my reflection. She is being a diffuser right now. I really like her. I think what I'm going to do, she is a little bit big this morning. Like, that is a significant amount. So, I think what I'm going to do is just, I don't know if you can see this but adjust this hook and eye because she is a little stretchy and just put the bar over here. That way, like I'm not adjusting the skirt itself for any weight fluctuation because sometimes the tartan one is a little tight, sometimes it's a little loose, you know, it just depends on the day, the moon cycle, which way the wind blows, you know, that's how bodies work. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for that and that'll, you know, cinch it in. I do tuck in sweaters a lot with the skirts, so having that extra room is definitely gonna help, but I am so happy with this. I love it. This is also, um, my fall frolic is a little bit, I think, too cropped to tuck in the back, slash, that's where like all of the bulk of the fabric is, so the back of the dress does get pulled down a little bit more. So, but that's, you know, if I were wearing a longer shirt, this would be less of a, like, the back, would pop out less issue situation. I'm super happy with her. I love her. One of these days I want to make a version with the pockets, but yeah, it just feels uh, good to finally make something that fits and only having to do it once. And there we go. It is a thicker material. So I think it's going to be really good for like fall, winter, early spring situation. Love her so much. 10 out of 10. I wish I could go like witchy apple picking or something in this right now. Or like sit in a coffee shop and read a mysteriously old book. So there we go. I don't know what November is gonna be for next week. We'll see. Maybe I'll go through my stash and find something. Thank you so much for joining me on one more sewing journey this month. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting the shop, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.